What's up, everybody? Welcome to winter in Pennsylvania, Maryland, where it hasn't even really snowed yet. And um, let me show you what we're doing for our winter project here. So this is a customer's bike. We're doing, we've already done quite a bit to it. I'm sure you've seen some of my other videos. This was the, the bike that I had started customizing. So we'll start on the left side. Um, we just powder coated the brake calipers and the bolts and tried to match the orange stripe. I think it came out pretty well. And obviously we did these. We've got the heads off. We've got the cams sent out doing some work to those, trying to get a little more power out of it. Uh, it's gonna make a big difference with torque at least. We, hit, we do have the dyno jet, the Power Commander 5 on here as well. You can see the throttle bodies, um, giant throttle bodies. What, I've, what I think is pretty unique with this bike is it has two spark plugs. One's on the outside here, and then you have another one on the inside there. And they're two different plug caps, which they basically do the same thing. But this one is uh, more like a vehicle, so to speak. And then, um, let's see if I can find the plug cap. The one on the outside is more like your generic, you know, plug. Just something that simple. Um, this is pretty much a rat's nest right here. We've got the XK Glow Light Kit here. I'm doing a bit, little bit of cleaning up. Your battery is underneath the seat here. Your ECU is here. And then your flasher relay is here. And that, one of the first things a lot of people do is change out the front and rear turn signals. And these turn signals in the front are from Raw Designs. They're called the Flats. The headlight is from Riva Cycles, I believe and it is awesome. Even the LED headlights that you can get or the headlight bulbs that you can hit, get have nothing on this bike. So that's the front. We've got Kiriakin grips, which I love these grips. They're very comfortable. They're, they, make, they give you a little more to grab a hold of. And then these mirrors are from K&S. They're nothing special but they're a direct fit. Let's see what else we got. We just did a lot of powder coating on the small, on the small stuff. Um, and these seats, I'm not sure where the company is from that makes them, but they've got like a carbon fiber look. They say M109 on the back. We got the um, rear tail section from me and cycles, had it painted and color matched. And we've got the, Riva Knight Rider light in there as well. Let's see. Yeah, then we did, um, so these pegs, it doesn't matter what color the bike is, they all come in silver. Um, we powder coated them black and then the skid pin, we went orange. And then we had got the brake relocation kit from Mean Cycles as well. And all we did is we took the factory uh, brake caliper, powder coated it, powder coated the bolts, obviously. And then here's the rear um, step, which we powder coated black and then just did the screws just to give it a little bit of a profile. It's not, the powder coating is not a lot. It's stuff that's relatively easy to remove, but it does give the bike just a little bit extra. Um, some people might like it, some people might not, but that's the best part about owning a motorcycle is you get to customize it to your taste and your style. If everybody was the same, there'd be no point to bike shows. So that's what we got going on. Um, if you got any questions, I'll answer them the best that I can. Leave a comment. I haven't done a video, a how-to video on one of these in a while. Um, let me know if there's a certain part of the bike you want to see maintenance-wise, got any maintenance questions, things like that. And we'll make a... I'll see if I can accommodate and make a video or at least point you in the right direction. Your regulator rectifier is down here, which not a bad spot, um, but if somebody does a, a lot of riding, and I don't know of any that have gone bad yet, but some I would think that if somebody does a lot of riding and things like that, it's I mean, it's out in the elements. It's behind the cover here, but I mean, you're getting stuff from the rear tire on there. This is a stock tire. Um, 
we've got two inch, a two inch lowering kit on it. So it tucks the stock tire up in a little bit, gives it a little bit of a different stance. And you can see that from front to back, it actually, I mean, it doesn't drop the rear end that much. I mean, it does, it drops it, but it doesn't, it's not that noticeable, but it does make a difference back here on the rear fender. So thanks for watching this week. This is what we've got going on right now, or one of the projects we have going on. I haven't been putting a lot of videos out. We've been pretty busy. So let me know if you want to see anything and comment, like, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you think. And we will see you next week.